Prêt les copains Découvrez le monde merveilleux des champotes. Hello. Rencontrez Seb. Je sais Lilith. Ouais. Et Mouche Mouche. Yeah. Allez, détends-toi et apprécie le miracle de la nature. Action Seb I've been into drawing ever since I was a little kid, like many kids. Uh, unlike most children, I just never stopped drawing. And that kind of made me roll into uh, drawing cartoons and, uh, and doing caricatures and, and, and all the way until I was like 15 years old. I kind of left school at the beginning of my third year to, to start a company with uh, four other classmates who were a bit in the same boat as me. And uh, we uh, decided to, uh, to conquer the world. <laughs> Uh, we did work with that same group on uh, Let Triplet de Belleville. And after that, I started working as an animator storyboarder in advertising. In my evenings, I would start, I never stopped dreaming about making my own TV series. Uh, so I would um, like start making little movies and that's how I kind of created Plankton Invasion. As I was producing my first, uh, directing my first uh, TV series, I again had time to spare in the evenings and in the mornings. And that's how I decided to, uh, to take an old idea from the shelf, which was basically one line, a, sing a simple joke. Uh, I'm not going to say the joke because otherwise people, I mean, people are still discovering the, the short today. Um, but I decided to, to start uh, producing that and it's also around that time that I uh, decided to start my own company, Thurry Star, uh, which is still alive and, alive and kicking today. Um, and I kind of worked uh, from like 5 o'clock in the morning until like 8 o'clock, then I took a shower, <laughs> went to the studio, directed on my TV series until like 7, 8 o'clock in the evening, went home, ate and continued working on the short. I did that for like three years. It was very, very unhealthy, <laughs> but it, it resulted uh, into a, a fun, rough uh, short film. I still get like five comments a day about people discovering it. You know, I think the character carries every single story. Uh, so your character has to be engaging, it has to like really draw the viewer's attention. Um, and I inject a lot of my own silliness in it. Uh, and silliness that I see around me from other people. And I think uh, it's such an important thing that regardless what show I'm working on, you will, there's something that, that actually transcends the projects. Mush Mush was, was, diff was a very different story and a very interesting one for me. Uh, originally, Elfriede de Rooster, she came to us uh, saying that she really liked My Night and Me and the work that we were doing and she was, you know, she wanted to actually just present herself as a character designer. Uh, then my uh, colleague uh, and producer of Touri Star, Perrine Gauthier, she went to see on the website of Elfriede and she found these little figurines, mush mush, and she just fell head over heels, she just loved the little guy and she immediately proposed, you know, we should make a TV series out of this, which of course us, uh, the partners of Touri Star, totally agreed on. At Touri Star, both Perrine, the producer, and myself, we stay highly involved in every single stage, like obsessively so. Because we, we feel, that's why we don't do like seven projects at the same time. We are highly invested because we want to really put all our attention on this, you know, make it the best we can. And I think if we do that as a producer and a director, People around you, they notice it, and the designer, editor, you know, they all you know, follow your lead a little bit.